Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, this is not our usual uh, amp stuff today, but I, I hope the empire can forgive me on this one. And something funny uh, just occurred to me, like right now. I don't know what the price of amp is until I shoot a video, until I actually put up my bit tab and shoot a video. I have no idea what the price of amp is. Uh, I I love that, by the way. that That's the way to uh, go with a very long-term token. Anyway, look, I like to talk about the good and point out the issues with AMP as much as anyone, but we take a 30,000-foot view of the entire crypto space, and with that, like to poke into the ones that will have a big impact on the said space. We tend to focus on companies that use crypto and not so much crypto companies, but as we have been uh, pointing out our concerns on the scalability of Ethereum for a couple of months now, we would be very remiss if we didn't mention Cardano before the Alonzo launch in uh, August. This is a milestone for ADA as for the first time since its inception. And Cardano has been around for a long time, 2015. It will start rolling out smart contracts. I absolutely love this because putting out a major change to a product during a down market is just great for investors because if they can spot the upside in that major change, they can get in cheap. This is a major change and you can still get in cheap. Alonzo is the first part of a series of upgrades that are expected to bring full smart contract functionality to the blockchain by the end of August. And that is what we are talking about today. These are the ones I love because it brings so much value to the crypto space and you can ride it for value to your portfolio. Please stand by. not going to do a big uh, price hype video. We, we don't do that. I, I'm not going to put the uh, ADA millionaire on the thumbnail. I think those are just cheap theater. And I would rather just pass on information and let you make your own prediction. My call screener loves ADA. And he said he was going to quit if I didn't cover it. I like my call screener. So let's talk ADA. I was a little uptight about doing this one because the podcast has a very smart audience. If you ever look through our comments for our videos, you can see that our folks are just a cut above. There's not a lot uh, to the moon, that kind of stuff, but there is an awful lot of pinning my ears back if I get something wrong. So they definitely make me uh, dig down and do it right. ADA has been in existence almost as long as Ethereum. It's a use case token that powers the ADA network. What differentiates ADA from Ethereum is that Ethereum uses a proof of work consensus and ADA uses a proof of stake. Now, proof of stake advocates believe that a staking based consensus mechanism makes blockchain networks more secure while reducing their power consumption significantly. And there is a lot of uh, rage between the, the proof of work and proof of stake folks. It's a Hatfields and McCoys level of disagreement. I see value in both, so I just stay out of that one. However, proof of stake done right can decentralize the DeFi by a significant amount lots of it. I'm a big fan of decentralized and there is entirely too much built on Ethereum. Further, do you know what Ethereum 2.0 is? There is lots of talk about it. It's going to fix everything. They're basically going from proof of work to proof of stake. That's why I love the timing of this rollout for Cardano. So much hype being put into Ethereum 2.0. It's going to fix the bottleneck. We can do it, guys. Just give us time. Cardano already did it. They've always done it. It's 
It's also why you never see us do videos about the Ethereum killers, regardless of how well it plays on YouTube. Cardano is just a better highway. I like level two companies, Matic, Scale, Ren, anything that assists with what's in place and tries to break up the logjam. But trying to fix a poorly designed road that can't handle the traffic on it seems like it's going backwards to me. Just build a better road. But let's get past the philosophy and get to the nuts. How do you make money from it? That's what it's about for most crypto folks. How do I profit? Ethereum is trying to do what Cardano has always done. It's a major change, a fundamental change to Ethereum. Fundamental changes take time to shake out. It's why Ethereum 2.0 is coming soon, coming soon. It's always coming soon. Ethereum is redesigning itself to be Cardano. So Cardano, which I consider a wildly better product, is taking a step forward to grab up one of the better features of Ethereum, smart contracts. They aren't fundamentally changing their entire product. They are just adding a feature to a superior product. Cardano has been slow but they have been meticulous in their rollout. Make sure something works before adding another something. Smart contracts are the next something. The ADA price has always followed Ethereum. When Ethereum surges, Cardano follows suit. But what is gonna happen in August when a superior product has all of the features of an inferior product? Time will tell. But this one sort of pops out of a slot for me. Once the smart contracts roll out, you will see more and more dApps built on ADA. And they are going to start chewing away at the market dominance of Ethereum. 30,000 foot view here, guys. Proof of stake, better. Smart contracts, better. Being able to get in at a buck right now that's the best. It's faster, it's cheaper, and it's greener than what exists today. And come August, it will have the same functionality. 2015 was a great time to get into ADA, but today is not a terrible time either. Down market, good for long-term investors. Game-changing feature being implemented, good for long-term investors. Realizing that the crypto space is huge. And there is room for many highways. Good for long-term investors. What I'm trying to say is, if you have an extra couple bucks, ADA is not a bad place to put them. Their staking model is good. It's not difficult. And it will set you up for a very good passive income. If you own crypto, let it work for you. Give this one a think, folks. And if you want me to drill down into it more, comments below and i'm happy to indulge live stream on thursdays at 1900 central cheers